Hey everyone, this is Isaac here, and welcome back to Isaac Reviews 2023. The John Wick franchise is one of the more consistently good movie franchises I've seen in recent times. They all have Keanu Reeves being great as always, they have plenty of well shot and well choreographed fight scenes to go around, and there's no shortage of great writing and plot twists. I bring this all up because if you didn't read this video's title for whatever reason, today's review is of John Wick Chapter 4. While I was definitely excited for this one, that excitement also came with a tiny hint of caution, since the fourth movie in a popular franchise has a very high chance of sucking. Be it Thor, Ice Age, Indiana Jones, or Hotel Transylvania, the fourth entry seems to be the unlucky one in terms of quality. But there's a handful of instances where a franchise was able to stick the landing after that long, so who knows? Maybe John Wick could be able to do the same. I saw it on Saturday, and to answer that question, yeah, it sure as hell stuck the landing. So after the first three movies, the title character and former hitman John Wick has an ever-increasing bounty on his head that a lot of people want to claim. So if he wants to finally get his freedom back, he'll need to do so by taking down the high table and its leader. Going into John Wick Chapter 4, one of my other worries surrounded the extremely long runtime of 2 hours and 49 minutes, since plenty of other movies with really long runtimes end up being padded to high hell and back with barely any justification for why they're so long. With this, on the other hand, the runtime wasn't an issue thanks to the great direction and pacing, where it honestly felt more like a 2 hour movie than an almost 3 hour one. Also, when it takes a break from the high octane action, we get some introspective character development coupled with some fantastic acting. Keanu Reeves and Ian McShane were at the top of their game with this one, but both Bill Skarsgård and Donnie Yen were also very welcome additions. And not only that, but even without the action, I could still tell throughout the film that the stakes were definitely higher than the previous entries. With that being said, let's talk about the action, because it's easily the best in the entire franchise. The cinematography is stunning, the fight choreography is top-notch, and the score sees both Tyler Bates and Joel J. Richard at the apex of their careers. And the climax towards the end is just... well, I don't know how to describe it other than perfect. That, and of course, I don't want this review to be too spoilery, but just take my word for it that this movie's action is fantastic. Honestly, I can't think of that much I'd say this movie got wrong. I guess maybe there were a few plot conveniences here and there, but other than that, John Wick Chapter 4 is easily the pinnacle of the John Wick franchise. From the great writing, direction, and pacing, to the excellent acting, to the incredible action scenes, to the genuinely emotional ending, it's easy to get behind the hype this movie's received. I definitely say this is a must watch for any action buffs, but if you haven't already, I do recommend watching the first three John Wicks before this one just for some extra context. 9 out of 10, sorry for the short review, I'm finishing part 2 of my best movies of 2022 list at the moment, so yeah. Next time on Isaac Reviews 2023, I'll be reviewing Dungeons & Dragons Honor Among Thieves. I've never really been a huge D&D buff myself, but I guess this movie looks pretty cool, and I've heard there's a lot of positive buzz surrounding it, so maybe I'll enjoy it. Who knows? I hope you enjoyed this video, though. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!